I had a kid in my youth group that had Tourette's. <laughs> That's not. I'm not laughing. <laughs> That's. Good. I'm not la- legal reason. I'm not laughing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Youth Group Chronicles. Joining me again in the studio, I have Pastor Mike Acosta Yert. and Mr. Shaw Rax. Yeah, welcome yo. to the show, guys. Welcome back, I should say. Thank you for having me. This is me, round bro. two for you guys hey. as co-host guests together. If you are listening for the first time, podcast is where we blind react. Well, not me. My co-host will blind react to crazy youth group stories. The craziest stuff that we can find and the craziest stuff that people have sent into the show. And we will start off with one of those submissions. This is from Jazz. This was actually from a submission via YouTube. Jazz said, one time I let my mom do an announcement for our youth group. In an attempt to sound relevant, she signed off with, it's on like donkey dong. I could have thrown up. <laughs> nah, that's not how you end anything. That's not cool. That was actually what Donkey Dong, bro. Not Kong, bro. Donkey Dong. Donkey Kong. That is a crazy visual. <laughs> imagine, crazy. imagine. No, don't, Donkey no. Kong is a piece of poop. That's not what a dong means, bro. Oh. <laughs> Why is Shaw hey. the most sheltered one in the room right now? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Wait, I thought you said dog. <laughs> no, he said donkey dong. Yeah. Oh, she slipped snap. up and said that. A, I'm not, I can't even say anything. Bro. Is, I, know, I, I get it now. I, Dave, that was bad. My bad. Yeah. Shoot. Can I say a uh, mom story? What's that? Can I say a mom story? Yeah, go for it. So some of you might know my mom, Pastor Lucy. So <laughs> a lot of my kids are like really unsaved kids, like from the streets. And I like, I couldn't be there one night or something. I had to leave or something. And we're doing, <laughs> we were praying and she was like, and no, these kids don't like read the Bible really. Like they're just like new or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she was like praying. And all of a sudden, like, it was like, we were doing worship and she like got on the mic and she was like, <laughs> she was like, son of David, have mercy on us. <laughs> My sister was there, and like the room went silent. <laughs> and I was like, "What the freak?" <laughs> but she had no idea, and so she was like, "So she was like, son of David, <laughs> mercy." And it's always the kids that have no idea what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, like, They're like, "Uh, bro, who was this cracked out lady? <laughs> and who's the son of David, bro? What the freak?" Oh, uh, oh, we love moms. I'm sorry, I had to say that. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh my, bro. Someone in the Instagram comments said moms are innocent. That is very true. They are literally yeah, are. that is very true. This is a submission from Jason. He said, on the last night of camp during my early days as a youth pastor, some of the high school seniors in the group asked if they could leave the bunk uh, room after curfew to hike to the lookout that the the camp overlooked the city. I told them no, but after they begged and pleaded, I agreed that they could go if I went with them. That way I could take any heat if they got caught. I should add at this point that this was just a group of guys, no girls. So as it neared lights out, we enlisted a junior high boy who admired the seniors to be our lookout. His job was simple. As we were making our way across the open space and into the woods, if he saw headlights from the patrol golf cart, he was just, his job was to shout patrol and then immediately go to bed. Seemed like a foolproof plan to us. The four of us left the building and began low walking towards the tree line that was about 50 feet away when all of a sudden someone shouts patrol. We were closer to the woods than our bunkhouse at this point, so we just made a break for the tree line. (laughs) Just before you entered the trees, you had to cross this eight foot slab of solid white rock that over time had a three foot wide and 10 inch deep trench cut into it by rainwater so i took a large step and then i pushed off with a leap that i thought cleared the ravine i would quickly realize that i landed my lead step off the side of the trench (gasps) and not not on the correct side of it because of this my finishing stride from the leap wasn't high enough to clear the 10 inch recess So my foot caught the edge and I took flight. I landed on the other side of the slab and slid down what felt like miles on my left arm, but in reality was probably only a few inches. Needless to say, I was pretty hurt. I called out for the boys and they quickly came to my aid. Adrenaline was so high that I didn't know at the time, but I had a reasonably deep scrape all the way down from my shoulder to my elbow on my left arm and was bleeding everywhere. They helped me up and we made it to the tree line thinking I was okay. It was then that one of the guys in our group who helped me touch up my arm, he saw the blood on my white shirt 
and all over my hands and arm. We went back to the bunk at this point, gave up on our trip, and in the light of the bunkhouse kitchen, I saw my arm scraped and bleeding. Now, trying not to panic at the sight of dirt, grass, and rocks protruding from my, my arm, I went to the girl's side of the bunkhouse and asked if they had a soap or neosporin didn't have anything all one chaperone had was a bottle of scented antibacterial soap and a bottle of rubbing alcohol Ooh. Mm. Ooh. i couldn't go to the nurse without risk of being in trouble and having to explain what i did mm. so i just went with it me and the three guys went to the kitchen where i told him to grab my arm while i placed uh the rubbing alcohol on it and scrubbed it with soap oh that sounds so bad the soap portion wasn't bad but the alcohol was caused some pretty bad pain I did my best not to scream and dealt with the consequences of my idiocy to, from what I had done. Now, when I finally calmed down, I wrapped the arm in a clean towel. And as we cleaned up, we were getting ready for bed. And one of the senior guys remarked that in all the chaos, he had never seen the patrol uh, huh. golf cart. It was at this point that a different junior high boy began to laugh and confess no. that he had falsely yelled Bro. and claimed that there was a patrol cart nah. coming. Come on, that's not cool, my guy. Like, you, nah. You, you a big L for that, man. Yeah. I would have thrown him down the road. Yeah, <laughs> he would have went in the trench. Yeah, absolutely. We're from the trenches. I would have been furious. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Busted arm. Nigga, what's up? Frick, bro, we're at camp, bro. We're supposed to have fun and you're freaking a snitch. Actually, I got a, I got yeah. a little story, man, because... <laughs> Kind of a little, it's not the same, but so we're, <laughs> we had the youth boys come to a group one night and we're over at the park playing ball or whatever. And there's this like trench thing. It's like a, like a mini creek, but it's like probably like 30 feet. Mm -hmm. And I, I bet him <laughs> that he could have jumped across it. That you could jump across it? I couldn't jump oh, okay, across okay. it. No. And there's this um like water in, in the middle of it. So uh -huh. this man. Pulls all the way back and just <laughs> runs, sprints, oh, 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 jumps, falls in the water. Wow. <laughs> how far? How far was the jump? It was it was a far jump. That's why I bet him because I knew he was gonna make it. <laughs> and then he was like, ah, I can do it again. I'm telling you, bro, this man did it seven times and failed. And fell every time wow. in the water. I feel like if you're already soaking wet. You may as well just go with it. Yeah, bro. He was, he was drenched right by the time we left. You could preach off that. You want to know who tried something seven times? Mm. My brother getting his driver's license. Oh, I thought you were going to make a biblical <laughs> reference. <laughs> Not at Eli. Oh. It was Ben. No, it was really? Eli. Yeah, seven, it was ben. Really seven times? Yeah, it was seven times, right? Well, seven is a, a faithful number. It was on the seventh time, I believe, that he uh, he got it. That's Someone amazing. in Instagram Live said, rule number one is middle schoolers can't be lookouts. Amen. <laughs> yeah. I'll just throw him off. I guarantee yeah, he learned his he lesson that up. time. This is a story from Josh. He said, my youth pastor was giving a sermon at the beginning of the school year referencing how he was doing bad in school. And in front of 90 students, he said, I was struggling to keep my little D up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you could have used some better wording for that, bro. What was he referencing? Grades? Yes. yes. What do you think? A, they from down south? What? They have to be from down my south. My little Ds. <laughs> that's cool. my little D's. I gotta keep my little D's up. What the I gotta bro, keep my little, that's cool. I gotta keep my D up. <laughs> you know, uh, I always keep them down for some reason, but <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Nah, nah. I said some outlandish thing. One time I said clapping cheeks from the pulpit. <laughs> Can I, should I tell this story? Go for it. All I right. have to hear this. This now. is like my third sermon. I'm 18. All right. Talking about, <laughs> talking about, um, <laughs> what's it called? Prodigal Son. And I'm like, you know, okay, I just said two bad things in this. It was like a packed out night too, because everyone was like, oh, I want to see Micah preach. <sighs> and I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, the, the Prodigal Son, he sold everything. And <laughs> he, was, he went out there with, and he was messing around with some prosties, talking about prostitutes. <laughs> and I was like, everyone say prosties. They were like, prosties. <laughs> <laughs> I like kept going in the sermon and I was like, yeah, you know, he was out here clapping cheeks <laughs> and everyone was like, and I was like, and then like other people were like, yeah, how could he? And I was like, I was like, yeah, they were clapping cheeks with the prosties. <laughs> And I'm, dude, I was like, I, like at, in the time I was like six, 17, 18, so I was like, that's like normal talk. I like, didn't realize you can't sing that uh, <laughs> from the pulpit, bro. 
And like, but you know what? Everyone remember <laughs> that message. That. Imagine this man behind the pulpit. Everybody remember that message. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. Message. I still don't live well, that down to this day. I don't think you would be able to forget a message of clapping cheeks. Clapping cheeks and prosties. But why prosties? Why did I say prosties? <laughs> and I mean, people repeat it. it. I mean, people repeat it. So everyone, I'll say, everyone say prosties. Everyone like, paying attention, right? Yeah, they, were like, they were like, prosties. Repeat this. <laughs> prosties. Crazy. Prosties. Dude, my mom chewed me out. That, that was so bad. <laughs> She probably didn't let you get back behind yeah, that pulpit for a year. She did it. That's horrible. This is when she called down Son of David. Yeah. <laughs> son of David. That's why she did it. Have mercy on him. Have mercy on him. I needed it. Let's see. This is a story from Caleb. Caleb said, my youth pastor had come up with a circus routine for youth group one night. Being a fair athlete, a decent jumper, and mistakenly overconfident in my ability, I decided to be part of our routine, and that routine would be jumping over three students. Nah. In our practice, nah. we tested out how this would work. The students lined up single file, and I ran at them from behind. I ended up clearing the first student, but unfortunately caused the second student to smash her face into the back head of the boy Ooh. in front of her. Ooh. I thought he was going to say it's nuts. Come that would have been worse. I mean, Come on. I would imagine that's what he hit. Still. It's like the pendulum things where you like. Bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> that's not no bueno. If you are listening to the podcast and you have a story that you want to send into the show, ygchronicles at gmail.com is where we are taking submissions. So please contribute, guys. We love, we love your stories and it keeps the show going. This is a story from Abby. Abby said. We had a two and a half hour drive to youth camp and my youth pastor thought it would be a good idea to stop at a gas station before we left and buy all the kids drinks. No. We got back on the bus and one of the girls shotgunned a monster energy, oh energy drink. Oh my. And then proceeded to puke all over oh. the front of the van. <sighs> we later found out that this girl had drunk five Red Bulls, chocolate milk, and a Coke before, <laughs> chocolate a milk. <laughs> before attempting... To shotgun this monster the residue is still in the front of the van and has not been cleaned properly hmm. how, many, how many milligrams of <laughs> caffeine are in there times five is what i don't think caffeine was the problem 90. no but like how did she not die she vomited it that's crazy. her body was like you're gonna die yeah you're unless literally we do gonna something. die of caffeine <laughs> yeah it reminds me of someone she, she threw the she threw the chocolate milk in there though She's like, this will make Yo, that's, What a combo. Dude, that's you imagine the disgusting. smell of that? Coke, Monster, Red Bull, and chocolate milk. Mm -mm. And it was like bacon in the sun. It's still there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. They're always like, going to remember that. That yeah. man still smells like yeah, chocolate milk. Yeah, it's still milk. there. <laughs> <laughs> same, same with this other person I know. Still there. This is so. a story from Keith. Keith said, I had a kid in my youth group that had Tourette's. <laughs> that's not. I'm not laughing. <laughs> that's. Good. I'm not laughing. Legal reason, I'm not laughing. But I have a story to go after this fight. <sighs> At first, I thought it was a joke because I had not even heard of Tourette's before. But I quickly <laughs> realized it was no joke. He never shouted obsc obscenities, obscenities, whatever the word is. But he often made a weird clicking sounds. And that was his main tick. And it was something close to like a small dog barking as well. <laughs> so... <laughs> Stop. I should have never read this story. No, bro, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry Lord. Lord, I'll, I'll ask for forgiveness later. So that David have mercy on yeah, mercy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 no, we're not, we're not. One year at camp, he came along with us. <laughs> okay, you I'm, have I'm to I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you literally have to stop. <laughs> One year he came along to camp But come to find out This kid left his medicine at home I asked him what the implications of that were And he said he would be fine It just helps him calm down <laughs> But it also meant that he was going to tickle out that weekend That night I was in a cabin With a student and 10 other kids After lights out We were all having a really hard time going to sleep Because this kid kept barking and couldn't stop <laughs> Although it was fine for about 15 or 20 minutes, everyone in the cabin eventually got a little annoyed. 
<laughs> I could tell this kid was embarrassed. So I said, I know you can't control it, but would it help lighten the mood if everyone in the room no, made their working. own ticking noise with you? <laughs> nah, this is insane, bro. The kid said, sure. <laughs> And suddenly the room erupted with sounds of barking dogs, clicks, and all kinds of crazy noises. Oh. But what I failed to realize is instead of helping this kid, it actually triggered more yeah. severe ticks yeah. and made it even worse. While he eventually did calm down and go to sleep, it's safe to say no one got a lot of sleep that night. No. This is that's like, <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who has a, who has a tick. And if like they get like stimulated, like it, they like take more. Yeah, that's like really. And I you like, also he, he the, kid going agree, crazy. the kid agreed to it. He's, He's like, like, yeah, well, like, yeah, sure, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and also, if you try to hold it in, yeah, it just starts coming out. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, so we had this one kid. He would go, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to clarify. I am not laughing at people with <laughs> no, no, I'm not I am no. not. I'm the situation the, that yes. this That's kid found part. himself in with this leader That's why is I'm hilarious. Oh so this my. this kid, he used to come to all of I our youth camps. Right? Oh, man. And he would be like, oh, yeah. Like, that was his thing. And like it was like that, boy. Oh, yeah. So one night, dude, it's like one of the last nights of camp. And like the Holy Spirit's really oh. moving. It's like quiet. You know, like down the keys are like, yes, Jesus. And like it's it's dude, it gets like quiet. Everyone's nah, like, everyone's praying. Dope. Everyone's praying, right? And then <laughs> from the back here, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I lost him. I'm Yo, gonna do it. Someone just commented on oh. on Instagram and said he had that dog in him. That's crazy. <laughs> nah. Someone said Kool-Aid. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. Who's, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, Kool Aid. Oh yeah. <laughs> like he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like okay. We're about, about to get like canceled off the bro? internet. What do you do, bro? You can't stop that. It wasn't his fault. You didn't do it on purpose. No, so you I, can't get mad at him. No. <laughs> Never mind, man. <laughs> oh my god. All right. This might be the end of Youth Group Chronicles, guys. <laughs> Like, quite honestly, we might it's get canceled. Not, ticks are not funny, but it's funny when it happens. It's No, it's it's oh funny my, when it happens in, in situations that it shouldn't happen. Yes. I was literally crying, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> wow, dude. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not trying. It's just funny. <laughs> it's funny. Oh I don't make fun of nobody, bro. Yeah, you uh, do, like, bro. I'm, not, I'm one of those type of people no, you don't, that bro. I'm going to help you through it all. Yeah, bro, <laughs> like, me too, bro. You would have been the one to just be like, everybody. Do it. I, I probably would have prayed over him. Like, That's please. what I would have done. Yeah, I, like, like, I need to sleep. I would have been like, right now, we're about to lay hands on you, and it's gonna be you're gonna be healed in the name Amen of Jesus. That. And then That's like, what he I would be like. <laughs> you can't stop. He's right, been next story. He's been for the story, show, bro. Story. He can't come back on. Next story. Oh, uh, he next made story. it on our most viral video, and now he's gonna make it on the video that gets us canceled. <laughs> on the so we've come full circle. Oh man. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stacy said this is why we need uh they need training with special needs students to help work with that. That yes. actually is true. Yes. That is because true. this guy said he didn't even know what Tourette's was until the kid told That's him. crazy. Wow. Me? We knew we knew like part like before and it, it was like you can't get mad at him because it's like it's involuntary. So like Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Like, it does, you I can't felt control I, we it. felt bad for, you know, like but oh man, it was it was still funny. Honestly, feel bad. That's, that's crazy. All like, right, next that. story. We, we got him. <laughs> okay, you all, right. all are violating. All right. We got yeah, not, not, right right not, got, not y'all violating. It's not just us anymore. <laughs> wow, you guys are bad. I'm glad I'm not around though. <sighs> I'm not alone. Okay. Okay. Not Clint said we had two kids get kicked out of youth camp one summer. Apparently, the kids found a way to get urine. Into an axe spray bottle. No, how do you? And do not that? only were they letting kids use it before service time, <laughs> they ended up just running around the property spraying. No, people with it. these kids are genius. You're going to jail. These kids are genius. You're going how to jail. How do you jail. open the can and pee in it, and then like re, like carburet it? Bro, you know what I would do if somebody sprayed me with pee? <laughs> You're gonna die. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, nah, we ain't playing those. I'm sorry. I wonder if there was like remains of axe in there. So I wonder if they noticed the smell and then found out later. Yeah. Nah. Or if it was just Probably. straight urine. That's but insane. how do you open an axe can and pee in it 
and then get the aerosol back in the can. We got, I gotta do some research. <laughs> nah, that whoever <laughs> whoever, yeah, whoever, that. whoever whoever is blowing my these guys are genius. Whoever dude. did that? <laughs> wow. I wonder where they're at today. <laughs> wow. That's, we had we had a kid duct tape axe like the thing and then throw it in our cabin one time under the bed. Oh, so that was cool. just spraying like grenade. Like yeah. Cold, Have you ever sprayed like axe and like lit it on fire? Yeah, we used to do that too. Yeah. I've never done that. It's fun. I've it's wanted like, to. It's like it's a like flamethrower. You ever thrown a can in a fire? Like a yes. Aerosol can? You throw a bullet in the fire? No. I know somebody who so does it. Does it shoot out yeah. or is it just kind of pop? <laughs> no, I know somebody who blows their own, almost blew their face off by throwing gasoline in the fire. Yeah. I can believe that. That's not yeah. a smart thing to do. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right, we will do uh, a couple more stories here. This is from Caleb. One time I almost killed my senior pastor. Oh my. We were doing a slip and slide kickball oh no. game for youth group. <sighs> and he came by to say hi. I started a chant with everybody to get him to slide to the first base pool. <laughs> he was not prepared for this at all. So in his jeans and boots, he ran down the baby shampoo soaked plastic. Then he jumped and essentially belly flopped on the plastic and immediately slid into the pool. Baby shampoo is crazy. What I failed to realize is that he didn't get a breath before hitting the pool. Oh. He stood up and waved at everybody <laughs> and then immediately collapsed. <gasps> right after this, a small kid jumped on him thinking it was a joke. So I ran to my sponsor that was a nurse and told her that he wasn't breathing. Oh my. His eyes were bugged out and he didn't move an inch. After about 30 seconds or what felt like an hour in my head, he woke up looked around and said he was okay but he did not he did end up with two broken ribs <gasps> oh my oh, okay i feel like our pastor would do that <laughs> i literally thought of pastor spencer pastor michael spencer would do that you heard that he, would, he would also that would hurt literally himself. happen yeah that would literally y'all know happen. the story about pastor breaking his arm yes N say it. i don't really remember it so i guess he like tried to break this like um cinder block, cinder block in half and the guy was like go harder go harder and he's like and his, his, his arm his arm like folded over yeah. oh, in the middle like, of a sermon right yeah he yeah, snapped he like, his arm yeah, yeah. That's but mentioned crazy. in the swimming pool i literally almost got killed in a swimming pool yeah and my cousin drowned me because i tried to just save like him. push you oh you were trying i jumped in to save him i was like seven yeah and i thought i could swim like mm -hmm. i literally thought i was a professional swimmer at this moment so i jumped <laughs> in <laughs> and he, the automatic instinct of him was to just push me down and get uh -huh. up and i'm just starting to drown. i actually have heard that that when you save someone drowning, their first instinct is obviously to grab onto you, and then yeah. both people go down. Yeah, and my it's dad actually crazy. jumped in full, full clothes, jumped, dove in, and saved both of us. Yeah, yeah. that's good that's thing, nice. dude. You wouldn't be here today. Yeah, nice. the Lord, the Lord saved me. Wow, that's scary though. You see your pastor dying. I did. I did, I did almost drown when I was a kid. It was actually at camp. I thought mm -hmm. I could swim too. There was like, a, you know what a wrestling mat is? Like the big foam yeah. mats. Yeah. Well, they cut like a 12 by 12 square and then mm. floated it out to the middle of the pond. And then the kids would swim out and jump off it like a dock. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to do it so bad. I was probably seven or eight. So I convinced my grandma and the lifeguard that I was like, I'm good. I can swim out there. <laughs> so I get off into the pond and my feet come out of underneath me because it, it gets deep. And I p straight up panic. <gasps> And yeah. just, I go down like oh that. My. And the lifeguard is on the other side of the pond at this point. Oh so he starts God. swimming for me. My grandma is absolutely useless. Cause yeah. she, yeah. This little girl came swimming, went under me and then pushed up and pushed me to shore. Oh, wow. Yeah. My brother got riptide in Daytona beach. Ooh. And my brother, and my older that brother. That always does scare me. Yeah. yeah scary. And he literally almost got killed. That's, That's crazy. Scary. The ocean freaks me out. I hate for those. Yeah. I'll never leave. I love the concept of the ocean, but yeah. it freaks me out. I won't swim. <laughs> yeah, it's no joke. I don't play with water. Happy birthday, I'm not baby. one of them. I can't swim. <laughs> we'll do. Let's do one more story, guys. This is from Vincent. Vincent said, "My old youth pastor accidentally said free balling instead of free falling. Mm. Then he kept oh. repeating it over and over mm. as he tried to get back on track and explain himself." Mm. <laughs> I want to know the context of that. Hey guys, I was out here free balling. <laughs> oh no, the kids looked at him like they're like, <laughs> "Is Pastor wearing underwear right now?" <laughs> is that what I was smelling? Is that what you do? You just free ball That's every day, dude. Uh. Not the free balling. <laughs> Who's hiring these youth pastors? No, nah, some crazy. One people. time, I one time I said uh, I meant to say tickling the ears, and I said. <laughs> I said, yeah. I was like making examples, like, yeah, you know, like Pastor Michael just, you know, like he comes in, it's a cool youth group, and he tickles us. 
<laughs> it was a big night, and like, I had like a lot of guests there, and like I was like. I was like, tickle the ears, tickle the ears. And like, <laughs> we were like, what the freak? And I was like, yeah, he comes in here and tickles us. And so then I like a group of youth kids call me the tickle monster ever since I haven't. I am not and calling that, you that. that. Please don't. <laughs> that, was that, that was literally last uh, November. Last September. So like this is recent. This is recent. I literally said, yeah. Pa-. I was like, yo, Pastor Mike, he preaches a good word. You're you know? just how you're exposing he yourself. He tickles us. <laughs> That's creepy, As my God. As a 15-year-old? And it looks like me, and you're telling me you tickle me. You're gonna tickle me. <laughs> you're creepy. I'm out. I'm gone, bro. I'm I never going back. I don't think I would have came back. I didn't recover. Yeah, that would be my first and last time I thought you. Yeah, did. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, guys, we will close it right there. Pastor Micah and Shah Rax, thanks for joining me for round two on the podcast. You can find the short, tor- short, wow. free ball, short <laughs> form. Again, it gets late here, guys. Yes. <laughs> Anything after 10 p.m., it's like I can't read or yeah. talk. Short form video content is on TikTok and Instagram. If you have a story that you want to send into the show, YG Chronicles at gmail.com. <laughs> you He's cannot so messed that. up, bro. <laughs> he is so messed up. <laughs> and then check out and subscribe to our youth our, our YouTube as well, Youth Group Chronicles. And uh, thanks for what's that? Two hundred thousand? No. <laughs> Two thousand. Uh, that would be his name. Two hundred thousand one day. I just prophesied soon. It over you. Right? Yeah, I, I, I you take know? it. I claim it right now. In the name um, of Jesus. But yeah, Slow. check those out, guys. And thanks for listening to the show. We will see all of you next week. <laughs>